Hey everyone, if the US spent the past week watching the President Trump, James Comey, Stormy Daniels story continuing to move along with a sort of pace normally more associated with a snail or a car in London ever since they closed off the roads for bicycle use only, I think the plan now is that if Robert Mueller's evidence doesn't turn out to be conclusive enough, Trump will have already been in office for eight years so he'll have to legally vacate the White House anyway. So let's talk about London though. There were local elections this week and Jeremy Corbyn had spent weeks planning his next move and what to do after Labour managed to seize councils like Barnet and Wandsworth as well as all those other towns and cities that the metropolitan types only hear about when they're watching Match of the Day. Unfortunately, things didn't really go according to plan for Jez though and it was a surprisingly good night for Theresa May and that's an expression you'd rarely hear these days. The Conservatives took control of Barnet Council along with Plymouth and other decentish wins all over the place really. Although the really big story of the night was the remarkable revival of the Lib Dems and Vince Cable even turned up on television without his trademark hat on. It says a lot really that if you've seen a Lib Dem politician on television in the past six months it was probably because you were watching a BBC4 documentary about the Iraq war. Nonetheless, they made good gains in London and you can't really fault them, at least they're honest about what they stand for, uh, whether you agree with it or not. Compare and contrast with UKIP, who depending on the time of day are either a protest vote, a Brexit lobbying group, a tax write-off for wealthy donors, a way for Henry Bolton to meet young ladies, or in some cases actual politicians with local policies they want to pursue. I think with UKIP it's, it's a lot like many other acronyms in it, you have to kind of look it up on the internet to find out what they stand for. You know, the problem with ideological parties generally is that for the most part they don't get enough numbers at the ballot box to win power. But the problem for parties that have no ideology is that they end up with Theresa May, the political equivalent of that DVD player you keep meaning to stick in the spare room or give to charity. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.